crowd at New York's American Union Bank during a bank run early in the Great Depression. Marx argued that the devaluation of wealth during capitalism's periodic financial crises was an inevitable outcome of the processes of wealth creation. According to Schumpeter, the gale of creative destruction describes the process of industrial mutation that incessantly revolutionizes the economic structure from within, incessantly destroying the old one, incessantly creating a new one. In Marxist economic theory the concept refers more broadly to the linked processes of the accumulation and annihilation of wealth under capitalism. The German Marxist sociologist Werner Sombart has been credited with the first use of these terms in his work Krieg und die Kapitalismus, War and Capitalism, 1913. In the earlier work of Marx, however, the idea of creative destruction or annihilation, German, Vernichtung, implies not only that capitalism destroys and reconfigures previous economic orders, but also that it must ceaselessly devalue existing wealth, whether through war, dereliction, or regular and periodic economic crises, in order to clear the ground for the creation of new wealth. Despite this, the term subsequently gained popularity within neoliberal or free market economics as a description of processes such as downsizing in order to increase the efficiency and dynamism of a company. The Marxian usage has, however, been retained and further developed in the work of social scientists such as David Harvey, Marshall Berman, and Manuel Castells. <laughs>